Oh, now we're stuck. Hi everyone, I'm Angelina and this is Blueprint DIY where we remake our clothes to be just as unique as us. I am so excited for today's video because it is a sewing machine showdown. <laughs> I love doing these videos. The first showdown I did was the Brother Strong and Tough versus the Singer Heavy Duty. And the purpose of these videos is not to trash one machine over another. It is simply, simply to help you find the best solution for you. So today's showdown is between four different sewing types, types of sewing machines. And they're all $50 and under, yes. $50 and under. I really wanted to do this because of everything that's going on with the economy, with people's jobs being up in the air, and a lot more people wanting to get into sewing. So I thought, okay, if you only have $50, can you get a sewing machine? Are there options for you? And so I wanted to present this to you guys um, in a really impartial way so that you can choose what is absolutely best for you and your situation. All right, so let's get this party started. First up is the handheld electric sewing machine. Now, if you guys have been watching my I Try Before You Buy videos, you've seen that I tried a non-electric one. I absolutely do not recommend those, but this one did work. It was $16.99, I purchased it online. There is a link to everything that I'm telling you about in the description box below. It is battery operated. You put batteries in it, um, but this one also has right here where you can put DC power. Yes, a DC power um, plug into it. It does not come with the plug. However, if you have one, you can use that to charge this baby. So that's a plus. It, like I said, it does work. It does work. It uses a chain stitch. Chain stitches are actually really strong. And the original like first try or first impressions video, I sewed some denim, just two layers together and the seam was really strong. It did come with some accessories. So the first thing I see in the box are some bobbins, which is what these use as, you know, the thread. So it comes with six colors, pretty cool and it comes with a pair of snips and a tape measure. And that little needle threader thing, you actually cannot live without that. This one with the chain stitch, you have to tie off your final stitch once you're done. If you do not do that and that stitch gets pulled, that thread gets pulled, all of your stitches will come out. Does this have a bobbin threader? No, you have to figure out another way to wind your bobbins. It does come with some bobbins, but you can either order your pre-threaded bobbins or you have to figure out another way to thread your bobbins. Now, who is this for? This, I think, in my opinion, this is for someone who travels. I even saw in the first impressions video, I saw some of you comment and say that you would take this on a plane or in a car. Um, I don't know how your other passengers would feel about it, but yes, I would recommend this for someone on the go and for occasional repairs. I think that you could use this if you were that type of person that just really doesn't sew very often or you really like to hand sew and you just want to every once in a while pull this out and use it to alter something. Now, the warning for this, everything has a warning, of course, things that you need to look out for. The warning for this one in particular I don't know if there are other ones that are designed differently but this one in particular this little switch up at the top I kept forgetting to lock yeah, and because it just slides open and close and it's actually fairly easy to accidentally slide it open and if you do that and your finger is near that needle just like i almost did twice you may sew your own finger so um that's not something that i like about this one so i am trying to be really really careful about making sure i lock it next up we have the varmax mini sewing machine i know a lot of people have purchased this sewing machine i got a lot of feedback for this one and i'll let you know what that feedback was in a minute let's go through its stats this little sewing machine actually came with a table which is super cute and convenient to have more space you know for your clothes to go over since it doesn't have a very big throat all right, so this little baby is battery powered and 
electric. So you have a plug that you can plug into the wall or you can put four AA batteries in it and it'll work that way as well with whichever you prefer, um, just like the first one. Now, this does have a foot pedal, but you can also, right here on the front, you can also operate it just hands-free and just press the button and it'll sew and then you press the button to stop it. This did come with quite a few accessories. Already threaded bobbins. That was one of the pluses for me buying from this particular seller. It has the bobbins already threaded um, thread. It comes with extra needles, which is a plus. Some little baby scissors. <laughs> a seam ripper, always, always good to have. A thimble, I don't use them, although I should. A needle threader and a tape measure. And let's talk about stitches. This is a straight stitch sewing machine. It sews one stitch straight stitch you cannot vary the uh, length of the stitch it's just whatever it sews it sews does it have a bobbin threader yes it does have a bobbin threader however this is one of the most cantankerous bobbin threaders I've ever seen or operated you have to be skillful at winding bobbins in order to be able to do it and you need to use two hands in order to be able to thread the bobbin on the other hand though it does come with a bobbin threader so that's a plus the first one you had to figure out another way you maybe wind them by hand I don't know. I did sew a stitch together with this one on denim. It has a really strong stitch. I definitely would recommend it for altering clothes. It would definitely do well with that. The one thing I didn't like about this one is when you finish sewing and you try to pull it out, there's no middle ground with the tension. So the tension in order to make the stitches look good um, is too tight for you to pull the material out that you've just sewn at the end. So I couldn't find, I couldn't strike just the right balance with that. So so um, that was a little bit frustrating and I think that would definitely be too frustrating for a kid that is just starting out sewing. So with that being said, who is this sewing machine for? My opinion is that this sewing machine could possibly be for a beginner adult, not a beginner kid, although it looks like a kid sewing machine. Personally, I wouldn't buy it for my own daughter because when you're trying to teach a kid how to sew, you want a tool that works optimally because if it is complicated and if there's things that's going to frustrate them about it they're not going to stick with it and so i think a lot of people quit sewing really early in life because you know that sewing itself is pretty complicated and so to add the thing that you know part of it just it just has little funny tricky things that you can't figure out so i would say that this would be more handy for a beginner adult because you could be more understanding now a lot you know a lot of us adults our patients are, isn't very good either but and i'm speaking from experience but i think that an adult could handle just those little um little tricky things easier than a kid could and now the con the big con what people said about this thing in the comments after my first impression video a lot of people and not just a few a lot of people said that this thing could conk out on you. It conked out on them after about two months. And that is a huge con. So for $35.99, this thing could conk out on you. That makes it not a very good value to me. All right, so next up, we have this little mini sewing machine with multiple stitches. That's almost unheard of. And so I decided to try and see if I could find it for $50. And yes, I found it right at $50. It was actually $55 with a $5 off coupon. However, I did find a link if you're willing to pay $10 more dollars. I did find one with a, I wanna say it had a table with it. I might be lying about that, but I absolutely know for sure. It had most of the same accessories from the previous one um, and it was $10 more. This little thing does have battery power. You can use battery power with it if you choose to Four AA batteries, just like the other two. Or you can use the DC power cord that comes with it. It does have a foot pedal and you can do automatic sewing 
one just like the previous one as well all right so let's talk about stitches I explained all of the stitches in the first video it's almost a gimmick because it doesn't have a literal 12 stitches the 12 stitches that I it has are a variation of different straight stitches zigzag stitches and then a couple of like overlock stitches but it does have a four step buttonhole and backstitch that is what a lot of people who were upgrading from the previous sewing machine really wanted me to show them about this one another thing that i found out in my first impression video is that this will sew through eight layers yes it sewed through eight layers of denim we're going to test it again today comparing it to the other sewing machines in a minute that's always my favorite part but um yeah it, it sewed through eight layers now the thing about layers is that when you get a sewing machine and you are going to consistently sew through layers, then that's going to wear out the motor. And so for most sewing machines, you want to just sew regular stuff. And if you're going to consistently sew through layers and layers of denim, and I get this question all the time, they're like, who's sewing through that many layers of denim? And it's like, if you're sewing any type of jeans, the flat fell seam right there is what four layers so if you have to cross two flat fell seams that's eight layers right there so i don't understand why people don't understand what the layer whole layers thing is about so but if you're upcycling let me just tell you you're sewing through layers so um yeah this will sew through layers but just be i'm just the uh, warning is that you if you're going to do that on a consistent basis make sure that you're saving up your money to get something better because the motor most likely will not last that long under that type of um sewing does it have a bobbin threader yes this one does have a bobbin threader and it threads the bobbins just like a normal sewing machine so i really like that about this one um and i really like that it's it threads like a normal sewing machine it threads the bobbin like a normal sewing machine it rewinds the bobbin like a normal sewing machine so um in my opinion who is this for this one i would say is if you're going to get something like this a little mini sewing machine for a beginner kid this is the one i would recommend and last but certainly not least is the vintage or used sewing machine option i know I know all the veteran sewers, sewists out there are yelling through the screen. Why don't you tell them about buying a used sewing machine? Don't worry, I am sewing mamas. I am, trust me, I am. <laughs> That was one of the comments I got the most as I was trying to review these other sewing machines. Don't worry, I am going to tell the people about the used sewing machine option because I want them to know, I know you want them to know, but just because one thing is the best option for you doesn't necessarily mean it's the best option for everybody. I know, I know, I know. People are yelling at the screen, no! <laughs> I just want to present the information and you do with it what you please. So this sewing machine, I'm so excited to have it. This is a 1970s white sewing machine. So this sewing machine is almost 50 years old and still going strong. I'm not proposing this particular sewing machine to you. I am proposing the option of searching for a used sewing machine. And you can purchase a used sewing machine from a thrift store, from Facebook Marketplace, from a garage sale, and also from a family member. You could get it from a family member for free maybe, I don't know. I personally got this one from Facebook Marketplace. And guess what? It was $40, yes. $40 and it came with accessories. The lady was so nice. Um, she was trying to move to another part of the country and she decided she wanted to part with her vintage sewing machine. So she was selling it for $40 and I nicely scooped it up just for this video. And because so many of you said that you have done this, that I wanted to test it out as an option to present it to everyone. I really, really just did. How do you go about finding a good used sewing machine? And it doesn't necessarily have to be vintage, but 
but for the for the purposes of what I was looking for I just wanted to find something that worked and that was under $50 to present it to you guys it just so happened that it was vintage but you want to actually know what you're looking for I have another video for you guys if you have no idea what you actually need in a sewing machine look at that video it has everything all the questions everything you need to hone in on your list you're like you have to have a spec list of the things that you want in a sewing machine and it'll help you to get your spec list so that you'll know when you go sewing machine shopping what you're looking for and it also has suggestions of sewing machines in that video as well depending on what your answers are to the different questions um it's very informational so definitely check that out some people have definitely found used sewing machines like say for instance they found an industrial sewing machine online for a hundred dollars they took it to a shop to uh, service it and to get it to work or to add a part that was missing for another hundred dollars now they've paid 200 to you know maybe they paid more four hundred dollars but an, an industrial sewing machine then in working order is worth 800 to a thousand or more dollars so this for this option you're going to be someone who is looking for a investment and something that is going to last you a long time so um yeah so once you know what you're looking for you can go on facebook marketplace go on um ebay um garage sales and different things like that and you'll know what you're looking for so if you go, go to goodwill you go to different places one thing you want to ask online facebook marketplace does it work because you want to know that before you get it you want to know whether you're going to have to go get it service or you can just like I did take it home plug it up and start to sew which is what I did and then when you go to pick it up or you get it from Goodwill or garage sale try to see if you can test it on site before you give that person your money I found a sewing machine at a thrift store not too long ago it was missing a foot foot pedal it was missing a cord that's another thing you want to see is it missing major pieces that you cannot operate without I think it was also missing maybe the um the bobbin um case casing how you gonna sew without a bobbin casing so um yeah you definitely want to make sure that it has all its major pieces and that it works and if it doesn't work you know or it doesn't have a foot pedal look it up see how much that foot pedal is going for you can find the foot pedals on ebay a lot of times um and see add up all of those costs and see if that still fits within your budget all right are you ready i have layers of denim here this is our two-piece layer this is our four layer piece this is our eight layer piece Woo! and then i have the bottom hem of the jeans a lot of you asked me could it go through the bottom hem because that's what you're going to be using it for you to take jeans in or do something like that and you want to know can you go through the hem it's a very practical question and we're going to find it out the handheld sewing machine on two layers of denim uh oh now we're stuck oh a do you see that how are screws coming out of it it's got a screw loose eh. oh my gosh the thing is at, like literally falling apart the needle has come out <laughs> okay so i have an update for this one y'all take it off the list i keep trying to sew with it finally got it to make a stitch again but the needle keeps falling out this will not hold the needle it keeps coming loose so every time i sew it keeps coming loose yeah this is off the list let's just you saw it here we're just gonna take it off the list and we're gonna move on all right two layers on the varmax mini sewing machine mini sewing machine with multiple stitches on two layers of denim. Two layers 
on the vintage sewing machine. Change the top thread to black so that you can see it better. All right, so this one is, I'll say it doesn't give me as much, like I can't do it as hands-free, but I think those were designed for more control because they're designed for beginners and I'm not sitting directly in front of it. Um, but yeah. All right, I switched to a foot pedal because I think my batteries were uh, weak. All right, four layers on the Varmax mini sewing machine. Four layers, four layers of denim. Is here. Stitches look very similar. Here's the back. Stitches look pretty good on the back as well. Four layers. That's the front. Pretty good. Not like impeccable. I like these on the front better, but the back looks pretty good. So I can't get it underneath. So I'm going to divert to six layers. All right, stop. In the comments, put in the comments, do you think this is gonna work? What do you think is gonna happen? <laughs> First, let's see if it'll go through with the needle. So the needle goes through, so let's see. All right. Six layers of denim, and that seam actually looks darn good. All right, let's go to eight layers of denim. The previous one could only do six because the um, foot wouldn't go high enough. So, pretty sure I did eight layers before on the on the other video. Mm, it's not having this eight layer. Whatever that last eight layers I did, this one is not having it. <laughs> it said no, ma'am, ma'am, get it out. All right, let's do six. <laughs> this is a really thick denim. And like I said, I wouldn't do this on a normal basis on these machines, but that looks really good. And on the back too. The back at this point looks very similar to the front, so I like that. Let's just see if it'll do eight layers. The funny thing is I've never had such an easy time wheeling. Um, normally the needle doesn't even want to go through, but this, um, it's just the motor doesn't want to do it. Vintage sewing machine, six layers. I thought you was gonna fail me. Nope, not today. All right, so this is the stitch on the vintage one. Not nearly as good as the other ones. The back is okay, it's not bad, but I could play around with the tension and all the other settings. Let's go through the edge of a pair of jeans and see if it'll go. Now, back stitch. Oh, back it up. Back that thing up. Come on. Ah, come on. Ah. So it gives you a little bit of trouble on that edge. That's just enough to keep you from, from it coming apart. No back stitch. Hmm. I didn't think about that, guys. I mean, of course you could find one with a back stitch, but this vintage sewing machine doesn't have back stitch. That was before 
they thought to give sewing machines back stitches are good so let's do some ratings um let's do the category of durability first hands down you guys know who wins the best for durability it's the white it's been here or the vintage any vintage metal body um sewing machine most sewing machines that have been around for 10 or more years they're going to be around for a while at least a while longer so um yes for durability hands down you're gonna get about 50 more years or more um out of this vintage sewing machine so it wins as far as the worst who gets the worst score of course this one we're actually i'm ashamed to even have it on the table all right so next up which one is the best value um i would say i have two that are head to head on this one and it's the white and it's this one this one is more expensive but i think it's a good value for if you want something that's not heavy something that's portable you're beginning um so i think that's a good value in that case especially because i found it for a little bit less than what a lot of people are selling for this is a good value because it's a metal body sewing machine if anything breaks on it i can continue to go get that fixed which means when this goes out it's done your money's gone it's it's gone this i can continue to invest in it i can sell it resell it and i'm still going to make some money at least a little bit of money off of it so yes um i think that these two are a good value for worst value this is just going to keep getting the worst rating and when i I promise you when I was making this video I rated everything ahead of time and this was not the lowest on all the ratings but yeah it is lowest and then this one because I had so many reviews that it only lasts a couple months so if anybody has this one um, the mini one with the multifunction and you've known it to go out really quick let us know in the comments because that's something we definitely need to know before we spend $50 on that all right so portability who gets the a1 score for portability um i was going to give it to this originally but um if i can't depend on the parts and honestly these three plastic body ones um either one of them will be good for portability if you can find one i've heard that the singer brand of these may be better um i wasn't able to get my hands on a singer brand of the electric sewing machine but if you you know have one and you have comments about it let us know in the comment section below but as far as portability is concerned something like this would be optimal you could take it wherever you go and do what you need to do but either one of these two just pack them back in the box and you can take them take them along um and do what you need to do with them all right so which one has the most options and it happens to be the mo the mini sewing machine with the multi-functions uh or the multiple stitches and i could have if i had had that on my list i could have searched for a used sewing machine that had multiple um stitches back stitches and everything like that so i can't fault the venture sewing machine for not having that i just didn't look for that um i just wanted it's something that worked and was under fifty dollars so if that's you know something that you definitely want to want to have multifunction then this is an option or you can search for use and search for something that has all of the functions that you want in a sewing machine all right so layers actually other than the one that just didn't work at all um all three of them actually did two four six and went over the edge this one won because it did a back stitch um and it closed up the end of the jean so that was the only thing that and i really like the stitches of that one that one had some pretty uh nice stitches on thick materials now i haven't tested them on thin materials thin materials could be very different all right so ease of use um i find for me the white is very easy to use because it's just like a regular sewing machine i don't have to figure out anything i've been using the sewing machine for a long time this one is much like a regular sewing machine so um i didn't have to figure out a whole lot this gets the f rating for that because it failed me so um yeah <laughs> i can't say any more about that but i think that they're all pretty easy to use this one does not 
go in the ease of use just because of the way it uh, winds the bobbins. That was not easy. And even when I figured it out, it's just, you know, it's not the easiest way to wind the bobbin. So yeah. All right, so which one would I recommend for a beginner? I would actually recommend for a beginner if you don't know whether you're going to stick with sewing. Only if you don't know whether you're gonna stick with sewing, I would recommend this. If you are a veteran, what would I recommend? Of course, I would recommend um, for a veteran and anyone who has some sewing, even if you're a beginner, but you sold a long time in the past and you know that this is something you want to get into and do for a while, then I would recommend going on to Facebook Marketplace, um, eBay, um, your local garage sales and thrift stores and checking to see if you can find a good used or vintage sewing machine. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I don't necessarily have any more of the I Try Before You Buy um, prepared, but my next desire is I would like to test out two computerized sewing machines. I told you guys a while ago that I am a mechanical sewing machine girl because I don't like to go get my machine service, but I would like to test some out. Um, so if you have any recommendations recommendations for some computerized sewing machines that that you think are really good and you want to see me test them out put them in the comments below and I will look into that for the next one if you haven't subscribed definitely subscribe we are an upcycling challenge here and as a matter of fact my top that I have on today is a sweater mixed with a blazer and I do have a tutorial for it so that's what we do here but I love doing these sewing machine reviews for you guys so definitely subscribe so that I can do more of these and share this video so everyone knows all the amazing stuff going on here. And I do have an upcycling class if you're interested in learning more about that and a free Facebook group to share your upcycles and your sewing projects with other people. All right, I will see you in the next one. Bye!